your attention, please. In just a few moments, we are going to welcome Barry and Heather into the wedding reception, but we're going to begin by introducing the entire wedding party, starting with uh, Heather's parents. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mark and Marcella Lastman. Keep that applause going for Barry's parents, Mr. Barry Worthington and Mrs. Dr. Louise Worthington. All right, show some love for Heather's grandmother, Angelique Von Arnold de la Perriere. It's my pleasure to introduce the bridesmaids and grooms, and starting with Dr. Pamela Holtz Cruz and Matt Zamora. Show some love for our next couple is Caitlin Von Hill and James Doppermeyer. Put your hands together for our next couple. It's Travis, Evan Sago, and Chuma in one room. Keep that applause going for Cindy White and Jonathan Pedro. and Jordan Pedro. Put your hands together for the matron of honor, Brianna Pato, and the two best men around, Robert Pato and Bobby Oler. There they are, the wedding party. Ladies and gentlemen, please, another round of applause for our wedding party. All right, at the moment you have all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. Get those cameras ready for the biggest photo opportunity of the night as we introduced our host and hostess and our guests of honor, Dr. Heather Laslett, Mr. Barry Worthington. We need a little bit more hooping and holler. Let's go, folks. We're going to invite you all to have a seat as Barry and Heather prepare for their first dance together as husband and wife. Snows, my eyes become alive. 
of many dances together as husband and wife, Barry and Heather. Now that your rose is in bloom. A little nervous. <laughs> Heather and Barry, uh, uh, it's hard to describe how happy I am for you guys today. Um, you've had so many years to think about this and grow together. And I've, and I've watched you guys grow together and mature together as a couple, and it's, it's just great. Um, I'm so glad that you guys refound yourselves after high school and that you decided that the other person might actually like me. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to say how beautiful you look and how proud we are of you. And. Um, you know, you are our, our first child, so we kind of grew up as parents with you as you grew up, so I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> uh, each stage of your life was a learning experience for us, and, you know, we received a lot of advice, and, and one of the things somebody told me was that, don't worry, she won't break, you know, which I learned to be true pretty quickly about you. You, you are such a strong person, and everything you come at, you. You, you plan and you and you work at it and you just push and you make it happen and I, that's what I see all the time with you. Um, you know, as your dad, I'm always gonna always remember that. Um, sorry, sorry. I always remember that little girl um, drawing away at a picture or working on a project and singing to herself happily. But now, even more than that, I see this strong person. This person who's like just takes things on and, and succeeds at them. You have this strong sense of right and wrong, and you're quick to help another person in need or to, or to say something when you see an injustice. And, I, and I'm really proud of you. And Barry, I, I, <laughs> I'm so glad that Heather has you as the man in her life. You you have these strong values and and you respect her, and you, I know you love her so very much, and it's a tribute to your 
to your family and to the love in your family and, and how, how you guys, how you were brought up. You're also, you're, I've learned that you're fun and you're creative and, and how you're driven to always be the best in what you do. And I appreciate that. And I, I think you know that we considered you part of the family for a long time, but now I'm, I'm happy to be able to call you my son-in-law officially. So if everybody would please uh, join me in a toast to Heather and Barry. May God bless you with many, many happy years together. Cheers. So I just want to say a few words to both of them. And um, I'll start with Heather. Heather, you are so stunning. You are beautiful every day, but you are the picture perfect bride tonight. And you had a beautiful, beautiful wedding out by the sea. I know God's love was shining down on you. And I know that the loved ones that passed um, are smiling down on both of you and giving you their blessings. And Heather, I have to tell you that I know how much Barry loves you because he looks at you with a very special twinkle in his eye. Like he does not look at anybody else in the whole wide world. So I hope that um, my husband and I have raised him to be a good husband to you. And I know that your parents and, um, and I hope uh, Barry and I have shown you how to have a really wonderful, loving, long marriage together. And Barry, I am so happy for you. You look stunning. I know I didn't know anything about what the guys were wearing or what Barry was wearing, but wow, you pulled it together so well. <laughs> and um, you just had a storybook life with Heather when she came into your life. And as everybody here probably knows, nobody likes a good story more than Barry. And nobody writes a good story like Barry. So for this story, the ending is closing and it's about to start your new book. And so uh, for that new book I'm, and the closing of, the, of this one, I say to you, may you live happily ever after. wants the best bet that my toast won't be as good as my wife's toast. <laughs> it, better, it better not be, believe me. Anyway, first let me say thank all of you for being here tonight. Some of you came a very long way and we truly appreciate it. Um, all of us are incredibly happy for Barry and Heather. Um, you know, uh, inviting Heather into the Worthington family is very special uh, for all of us. We have uh, a large family. I have two sisters and, and uh, three brothers. And of all of that, Barry is the only male offspring. So he will continue the Worthington name, which Worthingtons have been in the United States since before the Revolutionary War. Prince George actually had a tax collector uh, named Worthington in Boston who got tarred and feathered and ran out of town on a rail. <laughs> we're, we're anticipating that not happening. So let me just close and again, thank all of you for being here and cheers to the wonderful couple, Barry and Heather. Congratulations. Now, some toasts offered up by the wedding party. In this order, maid of honor, Brianna Prada. Best man, Robert Prada. Best man, Bobby Oler. And bridesmaid, Carrie Worthington. Um, first, I want to say thank you to everyone for coming um, and supporting Heather and Barry today. Um, I feel like this wedding has been a really long time coming. <laughs> I'm really excited that we're here finally celebrating this. Um, I've known Heather my entire life. I've always looked up. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I've 
always looked up to her and usually followed in her footsteps. She used to be pretty shy when she was younger, but she definitely outgrew that in college. I don't really have any specific moment, memories of us talking about what our lives would be like, what our careers we would have, and what our wedding days would look like. Um, I just really remember having a lot of fun with my big sister. Um, she always seemed to have a real clear direction in life, much more ambitious than me. <laughs> and um, when she said she wanted to become a psychologist, I remember thinking, why would you want to go to school for that many years? <laughs> the idea of having a goal so far in the future was overwhelming to me. But she's such a determined person, of course she stuck with it. Um, she's an incredibly hard worker and has achieved everything she's ever put her mind to. Um, I watched her become this caring, confident, thoughtful, and strong-willed person. Um, I'm really happy that she has the partner that supports her like that in life to help empower her to be like completely herself. Um, I want to say thank you to Barry for being that person who challenges her when she needs it, but mostly supports her and provides her the freedom to be herself. I've witnessed you both grow all these years, and I'm thrilled to be able to witness your marriage today. Um, I love the way you both push and encourage each other. Uh, life is always going to throw you curveballs, but you've handled everything you, they've thrown your way so far, and even, even through such long distances, you've done it. Uh, without a doubt, this next chapter of your lives will be amazing, and I love you both, and wish you both a very happy, long, healthy marriage. <laughs> I'm just going to go up there with you guys, if that's okay. It's easier for me. Why'd you make me go after my wife? No, I didn't like that. Here we are. I got a speech. I hope you're ready. It's a funny console. I'm going to go through it, and I'm going to place the pages right here when I'm done, if that's okay. Sure. Just to get out of the way. Hello, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Robert Prada, and I'm honored to be one of Barry's best friends. Personally, I don't know why Barry thought it would be a good idea to give me five minutes to talk to his closest friends and family about him, but here we are, Barry. Good luck. <laughs> I originally met Barry back in 1999, but it was not until 2003 when we were in the 10th grade that we actually became friends. We were both in Spanish class with one of our favorite teachers, Ms. Casares. Now, for the record, I have tricked the school system to thinking I don't know a lick of Spanish in reality. It's really <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Worthington, I promise I won't. Therefore, the school put me in a beginner Spanish class with Barry. Barry and I would always team up <laughs> in our classes, um, and we would typically finish all of our assignments within the five to 10 minutes. The rest of the class would be spent hanging out and having fun. <laughs> You're welcome, Barry. <laughs> Eventually that summer, Barry invited me over to his house and helped it, to help him film one of his first movies. We instantly became best of friends, and on a side note, Heather was some hot shot pilot player one grade above us at this time. <laughs> Then in 2005, I went to Disney World with the band and properly met Heather. She was a cool senior while I was just a nerdy junior. I remember my first impression of her was, eh, she's all right. <laughs> Our group ended up uh, spending most of the day at the park together. If ancient memory served me correctly, we sat near each other on the bus ride home. I do not remember exactly what we talked about, but I feel she told me something like, I love cats. Like a lot. <laughs> if I could, I would marry a cat. In 2006, Barry and I ended up going to different colleges and did not talk much during that time. But once he returned home, it was as if no time had passed at all. If you don't know this about Barry, in his youth he loved throwing parties. At the delicate age of 30 now, he can barely stay up past 9 p.m. <laughs> Barry was throwing a huge Halloween party and I asked him if it would be okay to bring Brianna, Brianna and her sister. I remember Barry dressing up as some snake character or something and Heather had soda cans in her hair. <laughs> Can Lady and Snake Man had finally met each other after all those years of being in, in proximity. Soon after that, Brianna and I went on, went on a double date with them. Barry typically does not like scary things, so I made sure to choose the scariest double date I could think of. <laughs> the way he coped with his fear was having a conversation with the zombies, until the person with the chainsaw came from behind the scary so. <laughs> Soon after that date, Barry and Heather were official. They came to realize life, throws off, life likes to throw obstacles at you. In their case, their main obstacle was distance. At first, I liked that Heather was always far away. She never stood a chance against Barry and I's love anyways. <laughs> However, they were extremely committed to each other and they were willing to overcome any obstacle thrown their way. You know that quote, if you love something, let it go? Well, I let Barry go and never came back to me. <laughs> After many years of dating and traveling back and forth to see each other, they were finally engaged in 2017 and I was ecstatic to the news. 
Last page guys, I promise. <laughs> oh god, this line. I didn't know where to put this line in there, but Brianna approved it, so. In 2018, now we arrive at 2018. To put that year in a nutshell, let's just say I went in with two balls and came out with one. <laughs> I know many people may not know how to react to this, so let me give you a second to recover. But not two, I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> Barry, B, Barry B, fashionably late as usual, was the very last person I went to have lunch with before starting chemo. Many people tried giving me advice during this tough time, but Barry just talked to me like a normal friend. So much so that I'd forgotten that I even had cancer. Even if it was only for two hours, he was able to take my mind off the difficult road ahead of me. Now as a survivor, I look back at that moment and cherish it. I've come to the point of the speech where I, I can give advice to the newlyweds. I do feel a little bit awkward in, in doing so since Heather's so much older than me, about six months, <laughs> and then wiser with her fancy PhD over there. <laughs> but I'm gonna give it a shot. Life's obstacles will never stop coming for you. Remember during those times that you were not alone. No matter how psycho crazy things get, many people are going to start asking you at, oh, sorry, this is part two, sorry. And I went run on sentence. <laughs> Life's obstacles will allow that. Many people are going to start asking you after today, when are you going to have children? Feel free to tell them that you already have a kid and her name is Millie. <laughs> no marriage is perfect and there will be disagreements. Aim to understand your spouse's feelings and resolve the fight as a team. Barry and Heather, I am so happy that you two have found each other and it's been my pleasure to watch your relationship blossom into what it is now. I know you will be a fantastic on and on and uncle to Finn and love him unconditionally. It's time to start a new chapter of your lives. Everyone, please join me in raising your glasses to celebrate Heather and Aries' marriage. Cheers. champagne left. Uh, there you go. Um, first thing I want to do is turn this around a bit and raise one quick toast at the beginning to the Lazlitz and the Worthingtons to, you're, you'll always be Mr. and Mrs. to me, but Louise and Barry and Mark and Marcella for throwing such a great weekend. Uh, thank you guys so much for your hospitality for this great, incredible setting. Cheers to you. I have known Barry for 15 years, which is more than half of my life and exactly half of yours. I met him in high school. He was working on a movie at the time, and he was telling me about it. I was a freshman. He's like, yeah, man, this movie, it's got a subliminal message. <laughs> and I'm like, wow. He's junior. He's working on movies. He's got a I can't wait to see it. And I watched the movie. And at the end of the movie, in 72.5, it said, fear is a serial killer. And I looked at it and I went, I think I get it, yeah. <laughs> and Barry can be pretty easy to read. He wears his emotions on his sleeve, but he's principled. And his, there's thought behind his feeling, and he explores them in his movies. He explores school, he explores friendships, and he explores family. And that's why we're all here, and that brings me to Heather. I know Barry would do anything for you. Because just looking at his face all day, and especially coming down the aisle and walking in with you, you can tell he would run through a wall. And your love and your understanding has meant so much to him and has helped him grow. You all probably know that they've been together for eight years, but they've really been separate for most of those eight years. And it was tough. And Barry called me one day several years ago and just trying to talk things through. And never once in that conversation do I remember him saying, gosh, I wish Heather would stop doing fill in the blank. It was always, what can I do to make this work? 
And I know with your personalities, you're gonna keep taking steps. And you did. That was years ago and now we're here. And contrary to all the romantic comedies that we may have seen or that Mary, maybe Barry's even writing right now, <laughs> this is not the end of the journey. It's, it's not even necessarily the start of a new one. It's another step along a journey that you've all been walking for eight years now. And I know that you guys are gonna keep walking towards that gorgeous horizon that we were just staring at as we watched you guys say I do. In closing, I would just like to raise a toast to Barry and Heather and to a beautiful horizon. Cheers, guys. Everybody. My name is Carrie Worthington. I am Barry's one and only sister. Um, I just uh, wanted to take a moment to let you all know how I kind of got acquainted with the Lazlets to begin with. Um, as we've mentioned, and we I think all know now how talented Heather is. She was an a orchestra rock star, and um, I uh, played violin next to, and I, I was third string, which is the best, I was bad, I was bad. <laughs> I didn't practice, sorry, um, <laughs> I was bad. So I got to sit next to the violist, Brianna. So uh, we got to spend some extra time together because of that, and um, I've, I've just known that for a long time that the Lysets are a very strong family, very, um, but also very kind and gentle at the same time. So. When, um, when Barry um, told me that Heather had attended his party and that he was thinking about going out on a date with, with her, he asked me, you know, how, how does this sit with you? And I, I think I nodded. And I, I think that that's probably as good as you're going to get from me at the time. <laughs> so um, I've just always known, though, that uh, this was a good thing for Barry. And I just wanted to say thank you, Heather, for everything you've done to make Barry such a, a much better person. <laughs> about the both of you though is that you've always led with love first and I don't I, I think that you two coming together as, as such strong individuals as you are and coming together leading with love is just such a beautiful thing so Heather I'm looking forward to you being my sister and uh, welcome to the Worthington thank you all uh, cheers, cheers.